one of the unique capabilities of Eternity's FPI platform is its ability to monitor almost any business process within any application running on any type of physical, virtual, or mobile device, and basically out of the box, in other words, with no programming required. Eternity's support of end-user activity monitoring therefore extends across the broadest range of application technologies, including thick client, web-based, rich internet, productivity apps like Outlook and Office, Java, .NET, Android, and iOS applications. Ravi, let's demonstrate some of these unique capabilities that reflect what we've discussed so far, if you're ready. You ready? All right. We're currently viewing the application SLA status dashboard of the Eternity Management Console. The dashboard is typically used by IT execs, application owners, and the NOC Center personnel to view the detailed KPI score of specific applications by their individual transactions or business processes. For each application, we see the aggregated status based on performance, availability, and user productivity. In our demo system, most applications are kept in the critical state for obvious reasons. So let's drill down to see some more specifics. Drilling down into clinical manager, we see for each business activity performed, the number of suffering users of the current active user population, the baselines and SLA thresholds used against which this deviation is measured, the current averages, and how many transactions are failing the SLA. A quick glance shows that the submit note activity is at a critical state and impacting over 150 users. Real-time incidents are also open and integrated with the help desk systems that Dave, that Dave mentioned or the NOC systems. For more detailed analysis of the clinical manager application, we use the performance navigator, which is the primary visualization tool used to slice and dice end user performance metrics any way you wish in real time. Ravi, let's take a look at performance by location and activity for the clinical manager application. The chart shows the response for each activity by user location. The y-axis represents the response time in seconds for each activity performed by the users, while the x-axis represents their locations. You can switch the activities and locations to slice and dice metrics differently. Now we see response of each location grouped by activity. And what we see is that the slowest response time of submit note is slowest in Florida, almost twice as slow as the rest of the locations. We can also quickly add a second chart that will correlate the level of activity, the usage of the application by the users with the performance metrics currently displayed. Analysis by location, of course, is only an example, as we could have grouped by department or role or machine type, for example. Ravi, the next use case I want to share with everybody is focused on quality of service as opposed to response time metrics. The Eternity FBI platform's analytics engine can normalize the performance of multiple different measurement types to a single percentage score so they can be compared against each other. In other words, to do an apples to orange comparison. And that's what the quality of service map shows. It shows the quality of service score for the clinical manager application on the x-axis the 50th percentile representing the organizational average or the norm. Higher percentages represent poor quality of service, and lower percentages represent better than average service. The size of the bubble represents the volume of activities performed for each group. The larger the bubble, the higher the level of business impact. And the y-axis represents the variability of service. We can immediately see that users from Florida are experiencing the worst overall quality of service for the clinical manager application. Drilling down into Florida, we can see the quality of service for each activity in this location. All activities from Florida are performing over the 70th percentile, representing poor quality of service, while the submit node activity is performing worst of all. Clicking on this activity shows the application servers used for this activity from this location. And that tells us that users from Florida using these two servers, Ravi, what does that say, Citrix 001 and 2 or 3, or having the worst performance in the company. When we want to drill down to view performance by individual users, the troubleshooting view of the performance navigator is best. The troubleshoot view is used primarily by help desk and IT operation teams 
in order to get a real-time or historical view of end user experience and activity and understand how performance of both of these trend over time. We can select any time frame from last few minutes to as far back as last year or even further. Any monitored application can also be selected. And for the purpose of this demo, let's select the clinical manager application. The table on the left displays the response time for each business activity across all the users. We can see the average, the maximum, and the number of activities performed in the selected time frame. The status column reflects how many of the clinical manager activities deviated from the automatic baselines or the manual thresholds set by the app owners. More about this topic later. The color coding reflects the magnitude of deviation, which we categorize as critical, major, minor, or normal. The middle table represents the users themselves, which can be the physical desktop users or Citrix sessions, terminal services, or VDI. For each physical desktop user, we can see the aggregated response time and activity level for all activities for the clinical manager application. And finally, the table on the right displays the destination servers used for this application. These can be web servers or Citrix servers, database servers, or application servers, as we see for the clinical manager app. Clicking on any of the activities, users, or servers will filter the view accordingly. Let's select a user. Who? Da Daniel. Let's select Daniel, for example, Robbie. The activities and destination servers show now are only for Daniel. The first chart below displays Daniel's response for each of the clinical manager activities performed over time. The second chart represents the status of each of the measurements performed by Daniel. Non-green indicators reflect that Daniel's response time exceeded the baseline of normal performance for users in Daniel's location accessing the same target server and sharing the same machine configuration as Daniel. Note that performance status is displayed in the context of usage volume, giving us additional insight into the magnitude of business impact for deviating measurements. We can change the view of the second chart to reflect activity level only in place of performance status. Great, Ravi. Thank you. 